Anything which is more than our necessity is poison. It may be power, wealth, hunger, ego, greed, laziness, love, ambition, hate, or anything. This is one of the famous quotes of Rumi. But today we are talking about neither of these. What would happen if Earth's oxygen levels went up by 50%? All living and sometimes non-living items need oxygen. We know oxygen comprises 21% of the atmosphere. From small microbes to enormous elephants, oxygen is a supernova that benefits all living things. Even underwater, where it nourishes the oceans, it is significant. Amazing organisms like plankton and algae provide a lot of oxygen, fostering the flourishing of the undersea environment. Let us now broaden our imagination. Imagine in our atmosphere oxygen has increased to 50% from now on. Just picture the truths we are going to explain to you. It will fascinate you for sure. This one is going to be scary. All those creepy crawlers like the spiders and roaches will get considerably bigger. As more oxygen enters the trachea, which these tiny creatures breathe via, their bodies will gradually enlarge and increase in size. The size of dragonflies would approach that of hawks, while the appetite of spiders would be sufficient to consume pigeons. But since you can outrun them all, you won't need to be concerned about your safety from these creatures. Your stamina would significantly rise with each breath you take since there would be more oxygen available to the lungs. Your veins would pump oxygen-rich blood, giving your muscles energy and improved blood circulation would provide you with more concentration and strength. You will become a superhuman. As you sprint across the outdoors, lifting weights that ordinarily seem unattainable, Running becomes effortless. It seems as though a burst of energy has swept through the entire Earth. Everything is moving more quickly. Let us take some examples to make it more believable. Athletes' speed records would significantly increase, breaking current world records so that new ones may be set in the oxygen-rich future. Biology students might have heard of neutrophils in our blood. White blood cells, known as neutrophils, play a crucial role in our immune system by utilizing oxygen to combat infection. Due to the improved oxygen availability, these cells will have a greater ability to fight off harmful viruses and bacteria. This will result in fewer and less frequent illnesses and disorders, so doctors and nurses will have fewer jobs to do. Wow, 50% oxygen in the world seems like heaven. Up until this point it seems rather enjoyable, but wait till the extra oxygen starts to make you feel heavy. Oxygen toxicity is a condition that can result from consuming too much oxygen. Since concentration and partial pressure are directly correlated, an excess of oxygen at a higher partial pressure will promote uncontrolled, destructive oxidation in your cells, which will ultimately result in cell death. The metabolism will also accelerate with an increase in oxygen. Overworking your body's organs could result in tiredness and catastrophic effects on your body. We already said that some diseases will be removed, but there will be more deaths from weariness than from illness. Think of some chemical reactions in which oxygen plays a major role. The speeding up of processes like respiration and combustion would be the most dramatic alterations in the case of a doubling of oxygen levels on Earth forest fires would grow larger and more destructive with more fuel or oxygen present. Even greenery that is wet would not get protection. Everything and anything would burn faster. Due to decreasing atmospheric carbon dioxide levels, processes like photosynthesis would be suppressed at the same time. In photosynthesis, green plants make use of carbon dioxide in the air to make food that we consume. But when there is more oxygen, obviously, it will result in less carbon dioxide. An environment with less greenery and more mosses and mushrooms would take its place. What does this mean? It means that we will be deprived of resources. Now, can we just look back? Similar to today, oxygen dominated the atmosphere throughout the Carboniferous period at an astonishing 20%. However, during the following 50 million years, its levels skyrocketed to an astonishing 35%. Something amazing occurred as the oxygen level increased. Can you guess that? A stunningly green environment was created by the vast trees that flourished everywhere. Massive marshes also engulfed low-lying areas, giving the scenery a fantastical appearance. The amount of carbon dioxide decreased at the same time. Microbes typically release carbon dioxide into the air when things degrade. 
The warmth from the sun is trapped by this gas, which raises temperatures. However, the bacteria were unable to carry out their duties in the strange wetlands where these enormous plants were buried. The planet became very chilly. One thing is certain, this wasn't happening in a single location, despite the fact that experts are still trying to understand why it occurred. It appeared as though the planet was amusing itself by manipulating the weather. But let's leave even sooner. We witnessed the arrival of the first dinosaurs in North America. High oxygen levels were a major factor in the expansion of the powerful dinosaurs throughout North America and beyond. Imagine a tropical setting inhabited by amazing, enormous creatures. It is clear that dinosaurs did not suddenly arise. They took advantage of an environment that was undergoing change and was ideal for their evolution. The amount of oxygen present was crucial to this dino party. Is it possible for an increase in oxygen production in the current scenario? Think about it. These fascinating animals grew bigger as the oxygen levels increased. Predators like Chindosaurus were their first large predators. But soon the land was dominated by enormous dinosaurs like sauropods. Then, 65 million years ago, the dinosaurs vanished and were replaced by mammals. The interesting element is that mammals have never gotten as big as dinosaurs. What is the reason behind this then? Because we can control our body temperature, we mean all mammals, which include human beings. But there is a price for that. Compared to reptiles and dinosaurs, we require a lot of energy to stay warm. The lack of concern for temperature regulation allowed dinosaurs to concentrate on expanding their size. The largest dinosaurs dwarfed even the greatest mammals by a factor of 10. Hikers and backpackers out there, you guys have some good news now. Living in the highest mountain summits is nearly impossible with 21% oxygen. What if there is 50% oxygen? Living at higher elevations would no longer be problematic because of the atmosphere's increased oxygen content. Breathing issues would be the least of their problems. But let us interpret this in another way. This would quickly result in the habitation of mountainous areas and the eventual degradation of these natural formations and soil quality. As for now, at least we have lush green on these mountain ranges only because humans cannot survive there for a longer period. Mountain Peak's ice cover would substantially decrease if there was a robust plant and animal community there. The air density in the atmosphere would rise as oxygen concentrations rose. As a result, aircraft, gliders, parachute systems, and birds would be able to soar farther into the sky and maintain flight for longer. If our Earth only had 15% oxygen, we would have to fight a very different battle. We would be exhausted and gasping for air after each breath. Exercise would become very difficult, and our ability to concentrate and remember things would diminish. So let's be thankful for the oxygen levels we currently have, which are the ideal balance for our well-being. The benefits of Earth having twice as much oxygen are alluring, but a shorter lifespan and a more unstable planet would be the price. We should consider ourselves fortunate that everything on our planet is present in just the appropriate proportions. You now understand how terrible it could have been if the universe had chosen to create a different recipe for our planet. 21% oxygen might seem quite low when you consider the lives of billions hanging in the grip of this air, but you now know how deadly it could have been otherwise. You can even come up with more believable stories when oxygen concentration increases in the atmosphere. Pen it down in the comment section. Do not forget to tap the like button too. If you are looking for more such videos, subscribe to our channel and ring the bell icon. We will meet soon. Bye.